So a lot of Rolex models recently have fallen below the current retail price from Rolex. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys and explaining the models that you should be shortlisting. And what do I mean by that? The ones that are currently are a buy, but in the next few weeks could be a pass. So one of the really interesting ones to start with is the GMT Master range. And it was our best selling model of last year full stop, end of story in the GMT range. And historically, we've been buying them in January and February. We've been paying over retail price. We actually have a few in stock at the moment. And this is one where, with the new retail price of Rolex being at 14,300, it has pushed it into that dangerous threshold of being just a list watch or just a tiny, tiny bit over. And it is the root beer. I'm gonna grab one, I've got one here to show you. The 40 mil GMT Master Root Beer, 18 karat rose gold and stainless steel. This is the most popular seller for us at LWC of the GMT Master range. And it's now, due to the current retail price, teetering just around the list price. And I honestly get phone calls every day, three to five phone calls from you guys out there wanting to sell me this watch. We're now fully stocked up. We put a video out last month. We've now bought up on these. We've got four in stock. Love this watch, but be really careful because it could quite easily be an underlist watch very soon. So it's definitely one for your shortlist. The other one in the GMT Master range is, of course, no surprise, the new gr and aka the Zombie. We don't actually have one in the minute. It's the 18 karat yellow gold and stainless steel with the beautiful two-tone bezel and the Jubilee bracelet. The current retail price on that watch is now 14.6. That was 13.8 last year before the price increase on the 1st of January. Again, this is pushed into this dangerous threshold of being a list watch. We've had a few offered recently at LWC. We're actually offering, this is real good information for you guys, last year's list price. So if you phone me asking to sell this watch, I will offer you 13.8, because if you look online at retail prices online, it is 15.950 max. You will not see any that are selling around anything over that price. So if you want to buy that watch, it is an unbelievable watch, and I would advise you to buy it, because I think it's stunning, but the problem with it is, it is certainly, in the current market, a shortlist watch. Let's talk about the date just. So in my previous videos, you'll know that we've said the top three tier dials are the ones that you can buy. The ones that you now need to shortlist are the ones with the smooth bezel. So the smooth bezel, even the top three tier dials, the blue, the mint, the Wimbledon, and the Mortise, which are even harder to get, that's room to be discontinued at Watch Some Ones this year, by the way. Even in the top three tier dials, the smooth bezel models are now a shortlist watch even if they're on the Jubilee bracelet. The price on those retail between 7.3 and sort of 7.150 for the Jubilee and obviously the Oyster, we will still stock it, we will still buy it, we will still sell for over retail on the grey market, but if you're looking to buy that watch and flip for a profit, there is no money in that model anymore. And that is really surprising to say for the top three tier dials. So the next range I'd like to talk about is the Explorer range. Let's start with the Explorer 40 millimeters. This is actually a really, really popular watch. It's the 40 millimeter Explorer. We sell loads at LWC. So the current retail price on this watch is 6,650 pounds. Yes, we will sell for over retail, but again, if you guys want to buy this and sell it to us for a profit, there's no money in this watch anymore. You have to be really careful with this watch. It could fall below retail over the next few weeks. So unless you've got this on order and you're collecting the next few weeks and you're looking to actually buy it to make a profit, I would be very careful because there's a very good chance it's going to fall under list price. Staying in the Explorer range, the other one in that reference, the 36, exactly the same. No money to be made. Shortlist it if you're looking to buy it because in the current market, there's a good chance it'll fall under list. And this is another one which is really good information. The Explorer 2, the 42 mil, the Polar, really nice watch. The black's fallen way under list now. So for you guys out there, that's not worth the new 8.5 retail. That's now fallen to late sevens, 8,000 for us to buy if you wanted to sell it. The White Dale Polar is now a list watch. Shortlist it. If you're looking to buy that watch, definitely, unless you really like it and you want to buy it and own it and wear it, we would still sell you that for over our RP, but that's one that unfortunately has fallen into the shortlist category. So one of the ranges that has fallen into the same category is the Rolex Daytonas, and it is the steel and gold range. I've got a couple to show you here. These are the old references there, the 116 reference. We've got the black dial. We've also got the 116 white dial. They're definitely the top two dials in this particular category. Again, you know, these are the older reference, so we are selling these for roundabout list, just over, just under, due to the fact they're the discontinued model. The new reference, the 1-2, 
if it's the champagne, we've discussed that, that is a pass because it's worth less than list. The black dial is the one that you guys should be shortlisting, this one here. Just purely because when you look at prices online, when you look at the margin there, it's selling for just over retail. Yes, we would buy it from you. We would pay you list if you want to get your spend up at your AD and you want to continue to get that watch that you really want. But if you want to buy it for a profit, unfortunately, it's definitely a shortlist watch. If it is the Y, yes, we would give you a profit on that. But that's the one that's fallen dangerous in the category. It is the Daytona Black Dial. Another one that's fallen into the category, unfortunately, is the Air King. One that is definitely a Marmite watch out there. You will love that watch. You will hate that watch. The new 40 mil with the new improved sports professional case with the crown guards. I actually really like that watch. The current list price on that watch is 6,500. Yes, we would sell that for a profit online, but not much actually. The margin on that is really, really small for us. So when we get them, yes, we will stock it. But if you're looking at buying that watch and making a profit, it is a shortlist watch. There's a good chance in a few months time, that one will fall, unfortunately, below list price. So one that has fallen into the same category, unfortunately, is in the deep sea range. It is the deep sea James Cameron, the one with the beautiful blue and black dial. We sell loads at LWC. We seem to sell a lot more of the one, two reference, the one in the middle. So the second generation one, I think that's the sweet spot for you guys out there. That's the one that you guys really like. And we're selling it actually below list or just under list just because it is that way in the market. The new reference, the 1.3, the current retail price on that watch is 12,700. It is now become a shortlist watch. If we're looking to buy that from you, we're actually offering less than list. If you're looking to buy that watch, which I advise you do at 12.7, you're fine. But if the next sort of three to six months, if it's that watch is not coming in the next few weeks, it's definitely unfortunately, and I'm sad to say, a shortlist watch. So we're now jumping into the Daytona range, the Oyster Flex range, my personal favorite. There's some different ones here that you need to shortlist. In the rose gold, let's look at the black dial, let's look at the diamond dial. These are two shortlist ones, just purely because the retail price from Rolex this year has pushed it into that category. Unfortunately, the sun does obviously a million percent buy, but the actual black one and the diamond is a shortlist one. I've got an nice place to show you here. It's not the rose gold and we're actually sold out, ironically, but this is obviously the ghost. This is not in the category, by the way, but it just gives you an idea which model we're actually talking about. I think they're absolutely stunning watches. I'm, I'm disappointed to say they fall into that category, but it just shows where the market is on certain dials. And we always say, if you're buying a special watch, you know, you need to choose the best dials if you can. So jumping into the yellow gold, 26A retail now, just one of the champagne dials, the white dial, the black or the diamond, that is a shortlist watch just purely because the current retail price, again, it's gone up the diamond dial even more. I've got yellow gold to show you. This is the Pikachu again. You would definitely buy this one, but just to give you an idea which model we're actually talking about. These are, you know, obviously the most sought after Pikachu, but certainly with the current retail price now, if you're looking at buying that watch, making a profit, flipping it into the gray market, all these dials that I've just mentioned are a million percent shortlist. Carrying on the trend of the Daytona Oyster Flexes, white gold. If you're getting the black dial, which this isn't, or the diamond dial, the current retail price is 28.1 and just under 30 for the diamond, definitely shortlist. We would not give you a profit on that watch. If you look at prices online, they are very low. That tells you that is definitely one that you need to, unless you're getting the next few weeks, shortlist. Let's jump into the next range, the Sky Dweller range. And I'm not gonna talk about the ones that are under list. I'm gonna talk about the ones that are a shortlist. And it's very surprising to say, and none of us here at LWC or certainly dealers in the trade would ever thought this day would come, where the steel Sky Dwellers, two dials in particular, could be potentially around list and could be a shortlist watch or just under. And I've got a couple to show you. I've got the black one. This is the black on the Oyster. I think it's a really, really nice watch, but the current retail price is 13650 And it pains me to say that a steel sky dweller, there's actually no profit in it, there's no margin in it. So the good chance, unless you're collecting this one or the white one, both in the same category in the next few weeks, that could be an underlist watch. We get quite a lot of calls from you guys out there looking to sell us this one. And we will literally say, we've got a few in, we're not looking to buy any more. And unfortunately, there's no profit to be had for you, even if it's on the Jubilee as well, which is obviously more popular. Yes, we would obviously sell it for a profit. We sold one the other day, but not that much of a list. That gives you a good indication where the market is. Really nice watch, very popular, but unfortunately in the current market, it's a shortlist watch. So one that I get requested all the time is the Yachtmaster 40. So for you guys that have been asking, here it is. So we've got two combinations. So we've got the steel with the platinum bezel, two dials, the blue, the rhodium, 
These are both in the shortlist category. If you're looking to sell that, we would not give you a profit on that. Good one to get your spend up. I actually really like the watch out there. I know it splits the audience. I know it's one that's actually a bit of a Marmite watch. I still think it's a great watch and a great watch for the money as well, considering if you want to buy it just over this price. The other one is the Steel and Rose Gold. Two dial combinations. That one's very heavy on the retail price. That's now worn by ladies as well, by the way, a bit of a unisex watch due to the way it looks actually smaller on the wrist. But that's one definitely shortlist because I've got a funny feeling over the next few weeks and months that's going to be way under the list price. So let's talk about the trends that we've just seen. Some of the steel watches, some of the entry level watches now becoming a shortlist watch. And in particular, some of the steel and gold watches, this is where the market is. So this is why we're saying, unless you really like that watch and you're buying it to wear, which you should do, if you're not, if you're looking to buy that watch and make a profit on it, there's no money to be made. Some of the entry level stuff now is literally what you would pay for it in the next few weeks. It could be less than what you paid for it, hence why we ask you to shortlist it. But if you really like the watch, you should do what you always do, buy it, own it, and wear it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, YouTube thinks you should watch this video next.